all of us are are endeavoring to experience what does deep security really feel like. Even if we had the most ideal of conditions as a young child, still the whole journey of our lifetime is to experience what can we experience real security to where we feel really safe in our bodies. We feel really safe in this whole experience of life, knowing that ahead of us at some point in time is the end of our life. And so Muladhara Chakra is a foundational energy. And, and when there is a imbalance, as we say, imbalance when you're talking when you're talking prana is always a relative thing. When you're talking your energy is always a relative thing. But we could I like to use the the more of the semantic of, of if you're wishing to harmonize the Muladhara Chakra then it would be creating a deeper sense of security within ourselves. When we're little children, we get our sense of security, hopefully from, at first, is the, our mother. And that, that sense of security comes, of course, from the love that flows from her heart into ours. Through the gaze of the eyes, through the nursing at the breast, through the, the vibrational field of the heart center, and the baby is always on the mother's chest. Hopefully and ideally, uh, it went, you know, whenever possible, uh, during those very, very, very early formative, not years, but days of our life. And that's why they put emphasis in the yogic traditions on the first 40 days of a child's life and the, and the mother's life of, of being a new mother. So anyhow, uh, that is f formative because that is when the energy of Muladhara Chakra is developing in, the, in our bodies, in our minds. And so if we experience, and all of us to a certain extent do experience deep love, because it's not just the love of our mother, but we're here with the love of the mother, the mother energy that permeates all time and space. So there's that too, which we all feel, and we all know at some some very, very substantive level. We all, f we all know what love is. We all, we all recognize love when it's present. And and so, however, most of us didn't have, none of us have had, like, what is even the most ideal situation? Of course, th there are some situations that are more desirable than others to be in the presence and having the st stability of physical comforts, a mother who's always present, and this and that and that. But, but all of us had whatever experience we had. And all of us are right now, wherever we are, with the type of, inner sense of security that we currently have and maybe some lack thereof all of us are are endeavoring to experience what does deep security really feel like even if we had the most ideal of conditions as a young child still the whole journey of our lifetime is to experience what can we experience real security to where we feel really safe in our bodies, we feel really safe in this whole experience of life, knowing that ahead of us at some point in time is the end of our life. So just that, that and there gives us a type of predicament that encourage us, is, encourages us to discover what is a deep security. Because you're not going to find it on the material plane. You're not going to find it in any other person or relationship, ultimately. Those relationships can teach us and can help us along our ways, but they can't ultimately give us fulfillment. And so nothing that, that, is in, that is part of the temporary realm is going to suffice into really filling us up and allowing us to feel really safe and loved here, regardless of the external circumstances. So, so our bodies are part of that which is temporary. I was listening to, oh, I don't have my pad where I wrote it, but I was just listening to Joseph Campbell earlier today. And I was listening to these great, the great Bill Moyers interviews that, they, that Joseph Campbell did with Bill Moyers at the end of his life. 
at, that it was recorded and filmed at Lucas Ranch, George Lucas's place, because of course Joseph Campbell's work was instrumental in, um, for instance, Star Wars and and so many of the great storytellers of the modern uh, Western world. So anyhow, Joseph Campbell, this great yogi wisdom elder, uh, those those if you've never watched those or listened to them, you can li get a, listen to them on Audible. It's excellent to watch them too, and I don't know where you can watch them, but you could figure it out. You just type in The Power of Myth with Joseph Campbell and find out where you can watch those seven episodes or wherever. They're phenomenal. At least for me, they are. Because this, these are, this is just the... Uh, a reservoir of wisdom that helps give meaning to our life and helps us give have good intelligence and wisdom in how we navigate our life. And so anyways, Joseph Campbell, Bill Moyer is asking him about death. And Joseph Campbell says, well, if one, he says something along the lines, if, if one can... can identify with the consciousness of which the body is a vehicle of and he says it and, and he says he repeats himself and or, or emphasizes he says and if one can can uh, I don't think genuinely is not the semantic he uses but if one can really genuinely create an identification with the with the consciousness of which the body is a vehicle of and then he says something I thought I think that's really important knowing that you do not know what it is because it's undifferentiated consciousness it's not it's not subjective to the relative world through which we are accustomed to thinking through and perceiving through so it's what you know, philosophers would say like non-dual, non-dualistic. It's not. There's no good. There's no bad. There's no wrong. There's no right. There's no female. There's no male. It's not. So it's not subjective to the realm of polarization. So you can't know what it is. It's the great mystery. And so he says, if one can identify with the with the consciousness of which the body is a vehicle of. If one can genuinely create an identification with the consciousness of which the body is a vehicle of, knowing we do not know what it is, undifferentiated consciousness, knowing that by definition it's not understandable with our minds, that it's by nature the great mysteriousness, it provokes wonder and awe, not knowing intellectually. then one can drop their body without fear. But rather through, through bliss and through love. And this is what you see over and over and over again in all the great stories and the great myths and all, all throughout the world, all throughout different generations and times, are the stories of those who have learned to... to to commune with that, that supreme love that is ever present and even allows us, so to speak, to conquer death, to conquer the, the fear that death provokes and to be able to feel very genuinely that this death is a, is a, is a doorway into an eternal energy, into an infinity, something that is beyond time and space. And it is a vibration that is love. So that's the exploration of a yogi. And that's a good thing to explore right now. Is at the, is, could it be at the center of things, at the nucleus of all of our life, is love, is a, is a love that is of a supreme nature. It doesn't, it's not subjected to, to ups and downs, to positives and negatives. And this is where our vitality comes from. So if we can slow down enough and center our prana, then 
then we then we have the the very real capacity to just dwell in our our field of consciousness and awareness and to enjoy our very presence that our presence is the energy of consciousness living awareness and this is where deep listening can take place deep listening and and this is the space where prosperity is born because that type of listening is the voice of of your own dharma it's the it's the voice of your of uh, it's the wisdom voice that expresses itself through your unique nature your unique path your unique being and and when there is an an identification that is taking place with the subtle aspects of ourselves such as our consciousness this not only gives you uh allows us to feel feel less and less scared of our of the reality of that we're dying not only does it give you the enjoyment of that but it gives us vitality to live hey thanks for watching on youtube best easy way to stay in touch with us hit the subscribe button here you'll see our videos when they come up if you enjoyed this one hit the like button it'll help more people see it help the channel grow i appreciate you watching